The full stop or period has several uses as we'll see, but it's most often used in a declarative sentence. Now that's just a fancy way of saying a sentence that's making a statement, as opposed to a question or an exclamation, in which case you'd use a question mark or an exclamation mark. Now, to understand how to use a full stop correctly in a declarative sentence, you first have to understand what a sentence is. So let's dial back a bit and have a look at what the definition of a sentence is. Here's the usual dictionary definition. A sentence is a set of words that's complete in itself, typically containing a subject and predicate. Let's quickly unpack some of that grammar speak there. First of all, subject means the personal thing that's doing the action of the sentence. And predicate means the part of the sentence that contains the verb or action word and states something about the subject. For example, in the sentence Jamie eats, Jamie is the subject while the verb or action word eats is the predicate. But remember, the predicate is defined as the part of the sentence containing the verb. So sometimes the predicate might be longer, as in, Jamie eats dinner. Here, the entire phrase, eats dinner, is the predicate. Or we could even say, Jamie eats dinner after 8 o'clock each night. And here, eats dinner after 8 o'clock each night is the predicate. Each of these three examples, Jamie eats, Jamie eats dinner, and Jamie eats dinner after 8 o'clock each night, is a set of words complete in itself, containing a subject and a predicate. So each is a full sentence. Now, it's really important to understand this definition of a full sentence, because overwhelmingly the most common grammatical error I see is people not ending a full sentence properly. Instead of using a full stop, invariably what people will use is a comma, and this is a very common error known as the comma splice. So let's take a look at some real life examples that I came across recently. I've changed some of the details to protect the author from embarrassment, but this extract is from a sales letter. It has two full stops in it, but it actually needs four. And it goes like this. I'm from TTFN, comma, a firm which specializes in corporate strategy advice, comma, we currently advise many real estate developers across the UK and continental Europe, full stop. We also advise the social housing, comma, private equity and infrastructure sectors, comma. I've attached a brochure for your reference, full stop. Let's start with that second sentence, which is actually two sentences wrongly joined by a comma. If we take all the text before the second comma, we can see that it meets all the criteria for a sentence. First of all, it's a set of words complete in itself. We also advise the social housing, private equity and infrastructure sectors. Makes total sense on its own. It also has a subject, we, and a predicate, the part of the sentence that includes the verb. Also advise and so on. Let's look at the text after that comma in the middle. Again, it fulfills all the criteria for a sentence. I've attached a brochure for your reference is a set of words complete in itself. It doesn't need anything else to make sense. And it has a subject, the I that's doing the action. It also has a predicate, the part of the sentence that includes the verb. Have attached a brochure for your reference. So, what we have here is two complete sentences, and in correct grammar, you can't connect two separate sentences with a comma. You may see this habit a lot, but a full stop would be the correct choice here. Let's look at the first sentence, which again, strictly speaking, is two sentences wrongly separated by a comma. I'm from TTFN meets the criteria of a full sentence. It's a set of words complete in itself, and it's made up of a subject, I, and a predicate, am from TTFN. So we could put a full stop here instead of the first comma. If we did that, the next sentence would read, A firm which specialises in corporate strategy advice, comma, we currently advise many real estate developers across both the UK and continental Europe. Again, this satisfies the criteria of a full sentence. We have a subject, a firm which specialises in corporate strategy advice, we. 
It's obviously a little more complex than the previous subjects we've looked at, but this entire phrase describes who's doing the action. You'll recognise that comma as an appositive comma because a firm which specialises in corporate strategy advice refers to the same thing as we. We also have a predicate, the part of the sentence containing the verb, in currently advise and so on. So it would be more correct to put a full stop after TTFN. Another way of correcting the punctuation in this extract would be to replace the second comma with a full stop instead. So we'd have, I'm from TTFN, comma, a firm which specialises in corporate strategy advice, full stop. We currently advise many real estate developers across both the UK and continental Europe, full stop. Again, we have two full sentences either side of the full stop, and using a comma here instead of the full stop is wrong. In that last example, either of my suggested solutions for correctly punctuating the sentence would have been correct. It's just a question of preference. The only thing to remember is that you must never join two full sentences with a comma. Instead, you should use a full stop.